astronomer Doug Duncan of the Fisk Planetarium at the University of Colorado Boulder. Welcome to Explorations, the series that takes a look into NASA's diverse projects and the people who make them happen. This is the command module of the Orion spacecraft. It's the first human spacecraft NASA has built in nearly half a century. The last NASA spacecraft to go to the moon was Apollo 17 in 1972. Orion is 30% larger than Apollo and better in many ways. Orion's missions have been dubbed the Artemis program, and its first crewed mission, Artemis II, is scheduled for 2023. The crew will perform a flyby around the moon, essentially taking the spacecraft for a test drive. The lunar orbital platform Gateway is an integral part of the Artemis program. Once construction is complete, it will be put into a halo orbit around the moon, allowing Gateway to be in radio contact with the Earth at all times. This orbit also doesn't require much fuel to achieve or maintain, so the Gateway will be used like a taxi service. Orion will get the crew into space and to the Gateway and the gateway will get them very close to the moon and landers will take them down to the surface. We have a lot to gain by returning to the moon, but there are two main reasons. First, we've recently discovered water ice in permanently shadowed craters at the moon's poles. This ice can be used as a water source or split into hydrogen and oxygen to make rocket fuel. Second, the moon is the closest exoterrestrial environment. It's also one of the harshest. There's no weather on the moon, so its surface is jagged and sharp, making it easy to damage equipment. The moon has no shielding, from dangerous radiation. This makes it an excellent testing ground for the technology that one day will take us to Mars. Orion is making good progress toward this lofty goal. Its successful test flight in December 2014 proved that Orion can handle the riskiest parts of spaceflight, the launch and the re-entry. It's with these tests, along with the work of astronaut Bresnik and hundreds of other Orion scientists and engineers, that will help establish a human presence on the moon, humanity's first big step towards expanding into the solar system. There is a lot to be gained by going back to the moon. Look at all the engineers and the doctors and the astronauts and the astrophysicists and the nutritionists and all the people that are currently in our space program were inspired to join NASA because of what we did during Apollo. Well, guess what? All that work leads to the next generation that we need to go ahead and pick up from where, you know, my generation's leaving off and getting us to Mars, hopefully by the 2030s. We look forward to having a lot of uh, new people, young people excited about the science and the engineering and the math and all these technology fields that allow us to do things that only were, you know, the, in the minds of science fiction writers all these years, and we can make, you know, going to Mars a reality in our lifetimes. On behalf of NASA and Fisk Planetarium at the University of Colorado Boulder, thank you for joining us for this episode of Explorations.